TED Talks, Ideas Worth Spreading. Because you're all searching 
for this dream of going professional. Now, we all know people who think they're going professional, it doesn't always work out, but they invest all their time, so hopefully they can get to that point where they're getting the million dollar contracts and everything they've done has seemed worth it. However, this isn't going to be the case for everybody. Somebody, there's always somebody that isn't going to get drafted, who isn't going to sign with the pros. And then what do you do after that? Did you take advantage of the education that was given to you, or were you not able to because you were simply spending too much time in the waiting room around the field? Um, another thing we see is how the NCA has become an agent group in our society when it comes to sports, uh, when it comes to college sports. Um, the, they're the agent group, and the students are a target group. The student athletes are trying to by getting themselves to earn a pay, they will become an agent group. They want to be treated fairly. We see the NCA bringing in forms of structural discrimination as they put in these uh, rules where students are not allowed, where athletes are not allowed to market themselves. Here we saw Johnny Manziel at the beginning of this football season was suspended for half a game of the home opener against Rice University. Half a game got him a lot of attention, but no money. He was penalized for selling his autograph. That's his name. He owns himself and he can't sign a hat for 20 bucks without being penalized for a certain amount of time. They have, so these rules against marketing themselves, like I said, are seen in video games, television. Students are seeing none of the benefits that they should be from uh, playing their sports. Uh, a couple years back, Ohio State players were caught selling their memorabilia for money, so that way they could have some walking around money. But, at the, at, but that led to the pro football program being banned from bowl games up till this year. This was the first year they were able to play because of a few students selling their jerseys and uh, national championship rings so they could have money. Um, there was also the most significant case in the last few years was the agent amateurism violation by Reggie Bush where he actually lost his Heisman Trophy and USC was uh, had to vacate all wins and revenue from that year. So this is a big issue that we're uh, really not paying attention to. Um, the football players really, uh, well, all athletes really deserve their payment. You see universities bringing in a lot of money, and it's not going to academics. And uh, we, this is something that really needs to change, and I think if people get on the NCAA enough, they'll make a little change, and we will see payment for these players. That way they can succeed. Thank you.